Hey guys, welcome to Tennis Thoughts, episode one. Today, I want to tell you about a conversation I just had, and I'm going to think about it. So I called my mom today, and I asked her the age-old question, what is the meaning of life? Now before I could give her a chance to answer, I started to tell her about my ideas about life. I was thinking, what happens when you have everything that you need? Everything that you want? What do you do next? What do you do when you have your health? You have that house you wanted, you have that yacht you wanted, if you wanted a yacht. And you feel a sense of contentment. You have no necessities, no desires for this minute, right? What do you want to do at that time? Well, for me, sadly, the answer was nothing. Nothing. I didn't want to go build something. I didn't want to go create something. At least for the next few moments, I wanted to do nothing. And just enjoy that I have my health. Or at least the fantasy, the illusion that I have my health. And again, the question becomes, what is the meaning of life? in that time frame, in that moment, where you feel you have everything. So, you know, it becomes clear that if there are no objectives, then you could really question what is the meaning of life. Then the next thought came, well, okay, I want to have a child. So what if your, your next plan is to have a child? Well, then your whole existence becomes about maintaining the child. Your future then is about the future of the child. And then that child wants to have a child. And then their future is about the, the existence of that child, etc., etc. And it's just a big circle, it's a big cycle. To what end? To what end? So my mom, being very practical and filled with her wisdom, said, well, don't you feel a sense of accomplishment when you do something? Whatever it is, you fix something, you build something. And I said, yeah. But most people, they seem to do something with the end goal of making money, right? We need money to live. So it's not about doing something with some higher motive in mind other than making money. And that's fine and good. Well, let's take a higher goal. Well, what is arguably a higher goal? Well, you're, you're a well-known doctor and you've developed a, a, a way to end presbyopia, so you don't need glasses, some liquid drops that unbinds the proteins that, that bind the, uh, the, the, the lens to whatever substrate the lens is bound to so that uh, the, 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 something with the C, not cilia, which is part of the ear, but whatever it's called, the ciliary muscles, there you go, which become less flexible over time. So let's say you've solved that problem. Now you feel great and everybody pats you on the back and you've helped all these people. So there's no more presbyopia, no more glasses, hey. This is amazing. This is a wonderful achievement, right? Well, ask yourself, well, all those people you've helped, what is, what is their end goal, right? What is, what can they now do that they couldn't before now that they can see? Hey, they can relax. They can feel good. They have their health. Presumably, all else being equal. Many of those people might want to be in a state of mind that they could do nothing. Of course, most of them won't be, they still need to make money, blah, 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 blah. But the point is, the cycle goes on, and we are presenting this question, what is the meaning of life, only from the mindset that you already have your health, all the money you could want for you, and no other immediate desires. Do you then, then what, then what? So, it seems to be, you know, AI aside, I say AI aside because that makes the question potentially even more difficult to answer from the perspective I'm trying to, to, to get to. And by the way, that perspective I'm trying to get to, if you made it this far along the video, is that if you can embrace the concept that life is in fact about nothing, it actually makes it easier to die. Because in death, arguably, there is also nothing. So, 
And that's a wonderful state of mind to be in, not, not to fear death, right? So, with all the things one might have achieved in this life, uh, what is the end goal? And again, AI aside, because it seems the ultimate goal to, to many people who are of a higher consciousness, quote unquote, is to outmode ourselves with something better than ourselves, right? Better meaning able to process more, able to think more, able to provide the answers to all the questions we have in a very quick time frame, right? For me, AI is wonderful. I use it every day. Uh, whereas I can't read a book because if there's something in the book that I don't understand, I can't go on. Most people can. That's a learning disability. I can use the AI to answer my questions to the point where uh, I can say, stop right there. Answer this question before you continue on. And so I'm learning at a much more accelerated rate now than was ever possible uh, before. But most people, many people, don't have a desire to constantly learn every second of the day, right? So AI isn't necessarily going to affect everybody in that sense. The fact that it exists, great. But the question becomes, again, what is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of life? Not for the moment considering that outmoding ourselves to answer that question uh, from a vantage point of having access to a being or, or, or having a being itself answer that question where that being is an AI being that we've created, right? Or that the AI itself created, right? So, so because then they could provide a whole new, a whole new uh, mm, environment from which to answer the question, with which to answer the question, one that, that we've never experienced or can even conceive of at this point. So that's why I keep saying AI aside. Let's, let's think about this, and uh, we'll revisit in episode number two of Thoughts While Playing Tennis, although I didn't get to play much tennis. Kitchen tennis. Thank you. Bye.